People say you, you have to have a lot of passion for what you're doing, and it's totally true. And the reason is, uh, is because it's so hard that if you don't, any rational person would give up. And after all, if you do really like what you're doing, it doesn't matter what it is, you can eventually turn it, uh, you could eventually become a master of it. It's the only way to become a master of something, to be really with it. And anything you can be interested in, you'll find others who are. But it's absolutely stupid to spend your time doing things you don't like in order to go on spending things you don't like or doing things you don't like and to teach your children to follow in the same track. If you're not willing to risk, you cannot grow. And if you cannot grow, you cannot become your best. And if you cannot become your best, you can't be happy. And if you can't be happy, then what else is there? You have to harness your will to say, I'm going to challenge myself. Sometimes I have to pull myself out of bed and say, come on, let's. Things I know I should do, I don't do. Things I shouldn't do, I do. I found that the biggest enemy you have to deal with is yourself. So deciding as you look at your life, as you look into the future and say, what fears am I holding on to? What fears that I'm allowing to imprison me that's keeping me from breaking out. That's keeping me from living up to my true potential. That's keeping me from really being happy. That's keeping me from having a sense of adventure and excitement in my life. What's, what's keeping me from controlling my destiny? You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to believe in your abilities. You've got to believe in your service, your company, your ideas, unquestionably. You got to have faith, and that faith gives you patience. That is not going to happen as quickly as you want it to happen. Failure is a detour, not a dead end. Perseverance is the key. You can believe you deserve to win. You can feel that you determine your results. You can feel incredibly motivated and inspired, and you can practice. But unless you put in the perseverance and actual effort, all the training in the world won't help you unless you hang in there when the going gets tough. If you want a thing bad enough to go out and fight for it, to work day and night for it, to give up your time, your peace, and your sleep for it, if all that you dream and scheme is about it, and life seems useless and worthless without it, and if you gladly sweat for it and fret for it and plan for it, and lose all your terror of the opposition for it, and if you simply go after this thing that you want with all of your capacity, strength and sagacity, faith, hope and confidence, and stern pertinacity, if neither cold poverty, famish or dull, sickness or pain of body and brain can keep you away from the thing that you want, if dogged and grim you besiege and beset it, with the help of God you'll get it.